Hey guys, welcome to Skilling. Java. Who hasn't heard this term? In the world of information and technology, this word is thrown around a lot. But how did it all begin and what made it dominate the sector till date? The history of Java can be dated back to 1991. It was based on an initiative that was led by James Gosling and his team called the Green Team at Sun Microsystems. Sun Microsystems is now acquired by Oracle. When asked why Oracle bought Sun Microsystems, Oracle replied saying that most of its programs run on Java and they feared that IBM would buy them if they didn't. James Gosling and his team initially tried to alter and extend the existing C++ language. However, that did not work. This led to the development of Java. Java was previously called Oak. It got its name based on the tree that stood outside Gosling's office. Unfortunately, due to trademark issues, it had to be renamed. And this paved the way to the name Java, which is based on a coffee that Gosling had near his office. Other suggestions for the name were Silk, Ruby, Jolt, DNA, etc. The team wanted to give a name that didn't have anything similar to internet or browsing. Java suited best to their taste and finally this name was picked. Definitely coffee does come to everyone's rescue and delight. The Java language, however, has its syntax similar to C and C++. Not a lot of people know about this, but Java was not designed for what it is used today. In fact, it was designed for interacting with television systems that had a touchscreen and the items on it could be moved and dragged. On 23rd January 1991, Gosling proposed the Star 7. It had a mascot called Duke that guided the user. But till then, the television industry was not that advanced. Being way too ahead of its time, the Star 7 project was never to be launched to the public. This was also the time that the internet was gaining momentum. With the Star 7 project being halted, Java seeped in its technology to the internet. Its web browser was then called the Web Runner, and later the name was changed to Hot Java. After years of working on the project, in March of 1995, Java opened its gates for public download. It conjectured that even a minimum of 10,000 downloads would be a good start. To their surprise, the downloads surpassed the benchmark in no time. In September of 1995, Netscapes, one of the largest web browsing companies at that time, joined hands with Java and boomed the industry even further. Although today, JavaScript has taken over the website development industry, Java still is used in a number of devices like the Android phones and tablets, games, e-business solutions, etc. One of the most renowned games ever, Minecraft, was also built using Java. So what do you think it is that made Java so desirable in the industry? A lot of it has to do with the fact that Java is platform independent. Gosling claimed the program to be write once, read anywhere. This meant that this programming language could be written once and then could be accessed on your phones, computer, etc. without having to write it again and again for different platforms. Other than this, the program was intended to be created in a manner that would be easy to use. Finally, Java program is object-oriented. This feature made large software projects easier to manage. Since Java's initial release in January 1996, the Java 1.0, Java has had a huge change and development in its structure. As of 2020, the latest version of Java is Java SE 15. With every new version, Java has incorporated new changes and technology into its programming language. Even though many people fear coding, while others are enthusiastic about it, with the right guidance, everyone can master this language. Believing that, we at Skilling have developed courses on Java programming language to help you learn the language and prepare you for a better future. We will guide you through each session to help you gain a better grasp of the language, 
To know more, click the link in the description below. And until next time, bye.